So, Yi Lings arriving with Aberration are in the game and an absolute pain to encounter if you run into one. But turns out are relatively easy to tame with a wonderful trap built by Tia Aura, which we'll go through in just a moment. But, question is, with a wealth of different ways of attacking enemies and even knocking out creatures, how powerful is the Yi Ling? You right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and of course we are on Aberration where, yes, we got a tame one. And today, one, we're going to need these plant species Z. They are dotted all around Aberration. You're going to find them here, there, and everywhere. And simply get near one. This is how you begin the process of getting to tame a Yi Ling. And after a short period, it used to be 30 seconds on ASC, I believe, but now it's 60 seconds. But anyway, after 60 seconds has passed, it'll close itself up and pop out a seed that you're going to need. Pick up the seed, the plant species Z seeds, which tames a few creatures as well. But you want to put it in a crap plot. So it's all about put it in there, get your fertilizer going, get it irrigated, of course, and wait for it to grow into a fruitling. And once fully grown, it should have in its crap plots a few plant species Z fruits. These are your ticket to taming one. You're going to need maybe a few. I'd say depending on what level you're going for, minimum 20. You could probably chance it with less, but you know, if you get it wrong, then you don't want to mess up. But once you've got your fruits... You're going to need to find one. And there's a bunch of spawn locations to the spawn location guide on where to find the Yi Lings. But I find these locations usually brimming with at least a couple. Uh, this is where the fun begins. We're going to run into this area. We're going to place our trap first. I can't see one knocking about. Why not? a little bit of time. And real simple trap. And again, credit to Tia Aura for making this trap. Six foundations is all you need. Followed by 12 door frames make sure they're those elongated door frames and that's it trap is done <laughs> that's all you need i wonder whether wildcard might try and change this afterwards because it feels a bit too op of a trap considering how easy it is to tame a yearling with this is that the yearling i want that's level 60 that's no good to me is there any better levels knocking about okay we can see one over there and what level is it 150 perfect and i'm doing this by the way with primitive flak if you're interested bloody hell just bomb it to the trap you want it to shoot you and get 30 of its spiny feathers into you if it charges at you you can run into the trap and you can stay in the trap if you don't want to get absolutely peppered but honestly i find just getting outside just speeds up the process let it just hit you until you've got 30 of them there we go 30 right and we're done right and now when it dive bombs You've got loads of time. You're going to feed it biotoxin. <laughs> there you go. And that's it. Done. So easy. You can use narcs, of course, for this. But biotoxin, you're going to add way more torpor. And very easily farms by grabbing the toxic mushrooms. That second dive, by the way, don't bother trying to do it. I couldn't seem to knock it out on the second dive. You just wait for the third one. And every third one, launch a plant at it. There we go. Job done. And that's as easy as it is to tame one. I get a feeling that there might be a way this gets patched, but hopefully not. But yeah, again, biotoxins are waiting up this thing go and easily gotten by harvesting any of the spore shrooms. Oh, oh, it got over the trap. Well, a little GG. The trap is not completely invulnerable, it seems. <laughs> I'm glad it happened during this. Spots a little floor or two. It can get out. We'll just we'll just stop and take it again. As you can see, yeah, we're wearing primitive flak. I mean, I have got 400 health, so that's certainly a benefit. The trap, by the way, needs to be built out of stone. It will damage wood. Worth noting. Oh, we got the feed in. There we go. It can be done. So that second dive bomb after the first feed, it's a bit icky. Like, it's going to hit you. But if you want to try and risk it and get a feed in, you can do it. Speed up the process even further. There you go, but the next one, done! Knocked out, and that's it. A 150 yearling knocked out. Now, taming it, if you can, make exceptional kibble. The timing effectiveness on 1x rates can really plummet with mutton, so exceptional kibble. It's preferred food. 12 kibble with a 98.5% effectiveness, I think that was. Came out at 223, not bad. 38, oh! 
40 melee. <laughs> oh, that's a good, good melee. That's a good rain melee. Sound. Cool. All right. And congratulations. We now have a way to get Rock Drakes. Pretty straightforward. It's got a lovely glide on it. Holy crap. You can shoot off it. That's disgusting. Oh, mate. So, double jump gets you in the air. If you press C, you'll fly a little higher. And it glides pretty well. Like, it doesn't fall very slowly at all. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you can shoot from this thing. But, of course, it's fiery feathers is what it's all about, right? Let's get up in the air. And then if we hold right-click. But you don't need to tap, by the way. Your alt fire. You can start peppering. Whatever you need to. A bit finicky when... Your target might be a bit small because your yielding is like blocking most of everything. And you want to try your best to try and fill that bar all the way up. But if you're going to rupture it by... There we go. Damn. <laughs> by holding left control and melee. Not sure what it is. I can't sell. Not going to lie. But you can toggle the A mode so you can see. That's, that's a massive benefit. There we know that. There we go. Now we can see. That's why they've put in a, a different A mode. So you can toggle A mode. If you hold C, apparently, you're going to a dash. Oh, and just, just mega. And I think you've got to try and aim yourself over its head, but getting it right and pressing the button. There we go. In. Bomb. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, you know, the mobility, it definitely takes a hot minute to get used to. But, you know, bigger targets. And if you just need a bit of practice, latching onto anything like you can, like a rock drake. And then just shooting straight from that. And there we go. You haven't even got to move. Just hold right click. Shoot from a nice advantage of spot. And you're dealing a whopping amount of damage. Look at that thing. There we go. We'll fill it up all the way if we can. It's already on the run. Obviously, you need to allow its razors to build up to keep popping, or else you're going to be shooting like one at a time. Just get this all the way up. I want to see the exact amount of damage we're going to do with a 40 melee non leveled E Ling. And we'll just wait till we get above it. Oh my good god. Uh, that's without a single level. That is revolting. And we've already kind of done an ability video on this thing, but just to kind of show you. So putting these resources into its inventory, gas balls, nameless venom, narcotics, and sap are all going to create different effects. If you hold left control and right click, we'll flick between the modes. Though you can do it by holding R, but it doesn't seem to be allowing me for some reason at the moment. But you should be able to bring up a wheel by holding reload. But yeah, poison. You get a poison mode if you've fed it nameless venom. All right, and let's find a good target to use this on. We'll just luck on it so we're seeing what we're doing to it. And we're going to attach ourselves. There we go. And let's go. We are now inflicting what exactly? 405, 505. 509 right now we're inflicting nothing so you've got to keep building up that bar for as long as you can i mean for the purpose of this we'll go all the way to the top all right done and then we're gonna do our stop and drop when we get over its head And now we are inflicting a giant amount of poisonous damage to that thing. Look at that health bar go down. Dead. 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 <laughs> so that's that one. That's some serious toxic damage. In feeding it, biotoxin will allow a sedate function. Which, this is the one that could really change some new ways, some new metas are knocking out creatures. Almost already made my creature knockout list a waste of time. This could be definitely the way, and we're going to be testing this. Let's, let's try it on something. There we go, a bigger target. That's it, perfect. But definitely with a bit of practice, I think you can definitely pull it off. I mean, there we go, we're, we're moving away. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is working really well. And down. Instantly knocks it out. What? <laughs> what? What? 
That dealt over 1,600 torpor. And it's not even leveled. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Sap, feeding it sap, moves us into slime mode. Right, slime mode. Sag deal again, zero. I mean, you can probably guess what's going to happen here. Deals a slowing effect. Not too much damage. Not a lot of damage at all, but it definitely slows it. Weirdly, it's not even attempting to come for me. Oh, there we go. But it'd be good to see how many seconds that slow effect gets applied. Probably the weakest of the ones, to be honest, the slow effect. Uh, right now, I'm not seeing what you could stop in their tracks, what you could slow down that this would be super useful for. But feeding it gas balls makes a dirty, dirty set of feathers. Because watch this. This is perhaps my favourite one of them all. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. A bunch of fire damage. And it's going to constantly go on fire, I believe. But didn't go on fire. From launch, this repeatedly kept something on fire. This time, didn't. Just notice its bar's actually gone. It actually hasn't got no bar. Is that set still setting on fire? Maybe it's based on movement, but interestingly, isn't killing it. It looks like it's actually healing past the fire damage, which could be related to a trait. Who knows? Once you click C, once you're in the air, it looks like it feels like you're in a more stable like flight mode than just dive bombing. And down. And we are now on fire. There we go. And we're off. Okay, this is definitely on fire this time. You can see it's on fire. I wonder whether like it has just some debuff because that's really odd. When leveled up in melee, does it do any more damage? The issue is traits are now a bit of an issue to try and help, help offer a reflection of what we should be doing. But we can see here we're getting six a pop right. Okay, and release. So that is two thousand seven hundred and thirty-seven on the bomb. That's six a pop with that on top. So, now it's leveled up. Are we doing any more damage? We are. So melee does reflect how much damage you're able to put in with the spikes. I think we'd know what to expect here, right? That's interesting. Why did I do less damage? Why did we do less damage? So there's something, is it? because I didn't come from directly above it, maybe. Okay, well, we can see a Yai Ling there, and there's a question that's been asked to me that we need to know the answer to, right? Can you knock out a Yai Ling? A lot of people have asked me this. Weirdly, it doesn't seem like it's bothered by me at all. Which, that's that's super interesting. I mean, hitting the thing, that, that just ain't even easy. That ain't, that ain't even easy. These things have some insane... Okay, there we go. I might just use this. Like, I've hit it a couple of times. That, that, that's enough to kind of get an idea. That is absolutely insane to hit. Okay, where is it? Where'd you go? Jeez. Fighting these one-on-one -on -one ain't easy. This is a level 60 as well. It's not, it's not glowing red for me to do... Oh, we got... Oh, there we go. We hit it. We, we definitely hit it. We definitely hit it, but it didn't deal any torpor. So, let's tame another one and opposite gender the same way and get them to base to do some tests. So, breeding pair back on the island. What's weird is, I swear this was a different colour on Aberration. When I moved it over onto the island, it changed colour. I don't know how or why, but it did. Was it always this colour? Maybe it was. Maybe it just didn't look as... Nice and aberration, but it looks beautiful on the island for some reason. But anyway, and we're going to make some imprinted ones. With our blue one over here having a whopping 43 melee and 36 health, which certainly makes life a bit easier. Noting whilst they're mating, look at the saddle, man. The detail on the saddle is absolutely gorgeous. I never noticed this before. It's a really well-made saddle. I love it. It almost feels like it's deserving of another map like Ragnarok. I don't know. It feels like these would be so better suited to Ragnarok. But, you know, this, I guess 
these things being gliders, you've got to have something there. I don't know, they just they just they feel very glorious. Lovely creatures, lovely looking creatures. But what do they do when they're imprinted? So, yielding eggs, if you don't know, if you need them for anything, you can use them to make superior kibble, which is surprising considering you need exceptional kibble to tame them, but that's the type of kibble you're gonna get with these. Lovely looking eggs. And looks like we've got some monsters over here. So are you, you're a male with 36, 43, you got the, the stats. 36, 43, 36, 43, 36, and you got the stats, cool, all right. Speaking of the saddle, and as we're attempting to breed these stats into some monsters, if you don't know, you unlock it at level 50, pretty cheap to make, and made in a smithy, but the question is, can you get them out of drops? Right, so purple drops on the surface, on aberration at the very least. You can find yielding ascendant saddle BPs, and you know what? 153 is a pretty tough BP. So we'll use that. We'll go back and let's check out a bread yiling. Yiling. <laughs> they call them yilings, man. Right then, we've got a bread imprinted yiling with the giant saddle on it. And off the bat, with 36 points in health and 41 melee, we can see not a bad start. 3k health. I mean, in the low end. Well, that melee is pretty disgusting and certainly a good bit of stamina and that weight is absolutely atrocious <laughs> three 300 weight dude how do the levels go up what's the level increase looking like health not bad 35 but i, just, I feel like I, should, I shouldn't have wasted that because we want to know what this is all about right pumping pure melee we're gonna overlook traits at the moment i don't want to factor that into what happens here but Let's see, with something almost purely leveled in melee, 86 points in melee, what are we looking at now? I mean, movement-wise as well, it's pretty rapid, dude. Uh, if you don't know, by the way, these do actually do a melee attack on the floor. Holy crap. They do a melee attack on the floor. Hey, go, man. No way, man. No way. Just, I'm curious. Screw it. Screw it. Go on. Oh my god, and that wasn't even the pure damage, dude. Alright, halfway. Because he's going to die. Oh my god. That just did... That just did almost 7k damage, dude. Yeah. Right, we, we've got to see it full. We've got to see it full. I can't even get a bar full without something dying. Oh my god, like, that's just disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so, holy crap, like, I can't even test this on Brontos and Diplos, which means I gotta try it something bigger. Alright, that's it, that's it. And, woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Five, seven, five, seven. It's interesting how. I don't know, the, the, the dive bomb seems to be comparative to what you do. A dibbity do. Let's try the one that was absolutely dirt with the nameless stuff. And here we go. What's the dive bomb going to do? So look at this thing. Look, look at that health. Look at that health tick. Look at that health tick. Look at that health tick. We're going from 80k. So we just took off 20k health with that tick damage. That was 20k health. Huh. That's a lot. That's a heck of a lot, man. That's a heck of a lot. That's killing most creatures in one go, in one floor each. 20k a pop. So obviously there's a few other things to test out, but before we do that, I think I know what's going to happen, but we got to find out, haven't we? I definitely do not expect this to work. It's a glider. It's a... It's a well, it climbs under surface, it clings under surfaces. So, I'm not expecting this to go in, but it's not technically a flyer and it's not technically a climber. So, maybe. Here we go! It can do boss fights! I mean, we're, we're totally dead.
Oh, it can do bus fights. Well, now we know it can go to bus fights. See that he knocked out a racer, or was it Diplo, in one go? How much torpor is it going to inflict to a Giga? I want to try and get right above it. I, I don't know whether that's going to help me, but... Oh, 4k a pop. Okay. Well, it ain't no Giga knockout, dude. I mean, look how quick that torpor's flying down as well. I was really hoping maybe you could use this to knock out a Giga. But that ain't happening. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Certainly a bit dodgy against this. But what happens when we get an army of them? So, <laughs> Giga versus these. And I believe you can. You can enable AI attacks. And I think in enabling that, these things fly about in the air. Oh, and they're on. They're peppering it from distance. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, and they're coming in for the pigs. Oh, God, I don't even want to get involved. I just want to watch. I was going to get involved, but this is too fun. I mean, you know, when the Giga bites, the Giga really hurts. But then they're, they're moving in and out of their own accord. This is amazing to watch. When they're coming for them dive bombs, it's hurting it. It's hurting it. But can they outlast that dirty gigabyte? Oh, that is, that is cool. That is too cool. Not one yielding lust and Giga is dead. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Now we know we can fight buses with these things and we know it can take on Gigas. Let's find out. Right, the easiest of the three. Each Yi Link has, well, half of them has 13k health, 683 melee, and the rest have, I definitely split them, so there we go. And the rest have 8k health, but 900 melee. So I'm kind of curious how this one's going to play out, and we're going to get UT buffing them. Oh, that's a good way to play it, oh, unless the UT doesn't come out to play. And I overcounted how many yearlings I've got. All right, looks like I'm on the back of a yearling then. The facts you could do. You can't attach to the walls, right? Because if you can, that's game. That's game, dude. Mate, I don't even need like all of the, the entire army. This this feels way too cheesy. I think that wild cards are surely going to patch this. There's no way. There's no way. Wait for it. Uh, we are off. Here we go. Did an AI. Didn't put on AI. Reject. Can I just land up here? Dude. Oh, there you go. Cheesing. Cheesing. Jumping up here. Well. Solo win just got a bit easier. You can just go off. And fly up here, and you're safe. All right, I need to know. Can I shoot from anywhere, though? That's what I want to know. Okay, looks like there's no bar. I'm not seeing no bar, but we need to be testing this. I mean, that alone is just fun. And in fact, can I shoot? I can shoot off this midair as well if I want to. This makes boss fights a lot more fun, dude. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to have to probably take one off the head. And can I shoot off the back of this as well? I can, but that's just dodge. Can we get it here? There we go. So you have to approach this ledge from this side here. Don't run out of stam and do that, though. <laughs> Let's try that again, this time with Yeelings, Yeelings, with the AI turned on. And we're off, flip it heck. All right, well, it is what it is then. I guess we're doing it here. We're doing it here. Right, can any of the, will the dive bomb do any more damage? Looks like you can't do that buff effect, the feather buff with buses not happening so they're actually useless 
Against bosses, useless, mate. Yeah. However, at the very least, we can do this, can't we? There we go. Stay up nice and high. Keep well away. There we go! Done! <laughs> no. Don't go down there. Fly to the right first, man. <laughs> okay. Well, to save a bit of time, we'll just do easy. I've got a Rex to help kind of just keep it at bay whilst I'll kind of figure out the arena. And we got a mutated yearling. Look at this one in my own colors. Right, dude, you stay there. I'll, uh, I'll put you on passive. So I just want to see. I don't want you to... She's... Because apparently, I think there was a place where you could... Chill on a roo here before, right? Yeah? Ah, oh, grand. Is that, are, we, are we here? Are we, are we working? Can I? Hang on. It says green there. Ah, oh, mate. Laughing. I'm mad that I'm, am I able to, like, do this upside down at all? Ah, oh, it's such a shame I can't, like, just turn around. I wish I could see. I can't see. Yeah? Okay, I don't work. I mean, I guess, you know, if you wanted to be... A bit smooth with this. It's possible, right? Ah, oh, I don't like the drop, though, man. That feels super da- like, super dangerous. <laughs> I, I think it can be done. And I know there's a, I know there's a ledge. I can't find this blooming ledge, mate. Oh, hello. There we go. We found a spot. There we go. And we're on. Oh, boss. There we go, we got a spot. And there we go. Done! Okay, brood a monkey, can't be done. An alpha no! I don't know, man. On your own, you're gonna struggle. But hey. That's that. Leaving one more that there ain't no way. There ain't no way because it breathes fire. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Come on, I don't know, mate. I don't know about this, dude. Right, where can we fly to then? Where's the highest point in this arena? I'm guessing there's a wall border here, right? I've never, you know, I've never gone this far ever. Oh, you can get up here. Well, maybe then. That might be high enough. You know what? That might be high enough. Okay, there's lands. I'm really not expecting much here. That... Are we going to be, be out of range of its fire breath? Oh, life is trying to find a way. You can actually climb up here. That's insane. But it's kind of stuck. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, stay there. Oh, stay there. We have got this. Oh, it's spoke too soon, man. If I move this way a bit. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting burnt here. But just this man, just dodging the meteors, dude, flying around like this. This is pretty cool. And like, if he had a squad of people shooting the dragon like this, I think this would be the most fun, legit fight you could do. Bloody hell. Dragon doesn't know what to do. Dragon can't turn left. He's like Zoolander. <laughs> Damn it, I spoke too soon. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I can't fire anymore. 
So, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe over time people will figure it away. Monkey, though. Monkey. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. There's still a couple of other things to check out still. Let's give it a whirl. Will it do it? Will it glide all the way through Tech Cave? Need to know. Let's just do Gamma. Can we glide all the way down to victory? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Toodaloo, everyone. I've got my own route. I've got my own route, dudes. Holy hell. We'll just chill. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Yes. This is it. This is how we get down. Oh, that is the way of getting down. Damn. Damn. Keep nice and high to avoid the dirty pelovias. I'm tempted to just go over the lava, to be honest. Might as well, isn't it? Stamina's looking nice. Keep well away so we ain't going to get hit by anything dirty. Just take our time. We're not in a rush. <laughs> We're not definitely not in a rush. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, amazing. Just flew over the entirety of Tech Cave. There we go. And straight in. Let's get the fur on. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Tech Cave done in, in like a minute. That's cheese. But can you cheese the Overseer? What's that? It's up there, wasn't it? Is that the place? Nope. Wasn't it? Where was that spot? Was it here? Oh, there we go. It's chillier. Chillier with our shotty. Get busy from rage. Oh, mate. We beat Tech Cave like this. This is dirt. This is dirt. There's the test right there. Are oh, you going to set me a light from down there? It seems no. It seems no. Oh. Oh. You can't cheese the tech cave. Hot oh, damn. Hot oh, damn. Oh, with this being so close as well. Stop shooting, what the hell? Oh no. Did it stun me there? It did stun me! There is an error in judgment there! There you go. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, twos, that is fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, to be honest, I mean, there's no harm in just chasing this thing. It's only when the bus is come out, we've got an issue, innit? We'll just follow it and shoot it until the bus spawns. I don't know if I'm hitting it. There he is! Move, 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 move. Keep clear so I don't get shot by them bloody beams. There we go. Hammer up. Hammer up. He got me again. Oh, you're stuck there. Which of my fell in it? Holy crap, where are you going, son? 
Come back. Come back. We gotta do this on you. We've got to do this on the healing. We have to. We can't not. There we go. And we're on. There it is! Oh! Perhaps the new meta of doing the Overseer. Yeeling is most certainly the way. I don't need to show you Rockwell because, you know, there's easier ways to do that. I got a video on that one. And Manticore definitely ain't being done. But Tech Cave! Absolutely. Absolutely. You want a chibi? You want some uh, tech and luck? Well, you got to go do Alpha for that. I don't know whether you can do this on Alpha. Might be a bit tough on your own. But Solo Gamma, it can be done. So as we ascend once again, like we're doing most of these uh, videos. Until the next one, my name is Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, ah! Oh!